Good morning, guys, <clears throat> and welcome back to Wagon Wheel Homestead. So, uh, to start off today's video, um, I wanted to show you what I made. So, it's going to look a little gross right now, but it'll be good. Let's jump into the video. Okay, so, uh, for those of you who have not watched my last video, then you would know that we harvested because I found another one that had fallen. So in total, we've harvested 200 pears. Originally, it was 199. <laughs> and I found one that fell. Um, so here we have pear cider. Now, uh, with this, I cut the tops and cut... cut uh, I can't talk today. <laughs> I cut the tops off of 15 pears and quartered them, put them in here, filled it up all the way to the brim. Um, I'm not sure what size crock pot this is, but I started this at uh, about 10 o'clock last night, and it, for me right now it is 9.05 a.m. Um, so I did 15 pears. I did half a cup of regular sugar, half a cup of light brown sugar. I did one tablespoon, I think, yeah, one tablespoon of cinnamon, or you could do um, two cinnamon sticks. Um, I added one vanilla bean pod, one orange slice, and two teaspoons of allspice. Is that it? I think that's it. Um, but so that is everything. So since it is morning, the next step was to uh, mash everything in and get all the pear juices out. Um, so that is what I did and I am going to be letting this cool here in a minute. Um, what else? Okay, so we went to Amish country yesterday, and um, for me, the closest Amish, Amish country is um, Sugar Creek, Ohio, and also technically Walnut Creek. Um, they're two right next to each other, but Amish country is there, so... We get to pick our own sunflowers there and cut them ourselves. Um, since I was not able to get any sunflowers to germinate this year, this is the arrangement that we have. Alrighty, so I absolutely love these. This one right here is my favorite. Absolutely love it. It's just amazing. I love sunflowers, especially the multicolored ones and the red ones. Ooh, my favorite. Um, so we did a little shopping too while we were up there and I wanted to show you guys some of the things that I got because I really, really like them. So this is the first one. The Lord is my strength, um, Psalm 28.7. And I really, really liked that a lot. Um, I picked up some apple butter while we were there, and I wanted to try it because if I like it, then I am also going to make some pumpkin butter with uh, the pumpkins that we have growing outside. So that I'm really excited on. And my favorite thing, maybe some of you all, ugh, maybe some of y'all will judge me, maybe some of y'all will really appreciate it. I have coasters, <laughs> but we have a chicken. <laughs> I love the chicken. And then we have a goat. Love it. And uh, so up at Sugar Creek, uh, they have a place called The Farm. It's a giant farm. Um, you can drive through it and feed the animals. And um, it's awesome. They have llamas, deer, lots of goats, uh, potbelly pigs, 
buffalo, many different types of cattle. Um, they have some alpacas, they have emus, ostriches, giraffes, zebras, and there's a lot else. But you can go through and um, feed them. And that is my favorite thing to do, especially the llamas. I'm here for the llamas. Absolutely love it. Um, but it was so much fun, and we go all the time to Sugar Creek, Ohio. And, uh, like, for me, it's about an hour and 45-minute trip. So, I mean, it's not too, too bad for, like, a day trip. We just make sure we go early um, because it is a long trip. But that was, like, the highlight of my day yesterday. And then we literally came home, and I got the pear cider going. Uh, the other thing, so they have a chocolate shop there. It's called, uh, I don't know. I want to say it's Coblenti's or something. It's in Sugar Creek and they have amazing truffles. And for, for those of you who may not know me personally, I love truffles. They're so good. Absolutely one of my favorite chocolates, hands down. That is my comfort food. Or as I like to say, that is my fattening food and I don't care. I love truffles. But, um, I'm gonna take you guys outside here in a second. I am going to get coffee made and get my dog fed Opie I don't know if I've ever shown you guys Opie before hi babies Opie who's a good boy who's a good boy see this is my big dog he is part Sharpe and Bulldog and then of course we have Luna which you guys have seen hi babies Alrighty guys, I'm going to get uh, everyone taken care of and we're going to head outside. Alrighty guys, so before we go outside, um, this is the pear cider. I strained it. Opie, sir, you're making noise. He's finishing his breakfast. Um, so I just took some cheesecloth and I got everything strained. And I put the cheesecloth in a strainer, and I put the strainer on a pot. That way, if anything were to happen, we're not, you know, making a hot mess. Uh, but yeah, so this is the pear cider, and it actually tastes really good. Um, I'm definitely going to have to try it chilled, because hot, I feel like there's too much cinnamon. Um, but that's just me. So, but, oh well, so, let's check out the garden. So, for starters, I'm still very interested at in the fact that we have a red pepper in with our purple beauties, and like I had said in uh, previous videos, this is one pepper plant, and this is the purple beauty. So I'm not really sure why that's red, uh, but the rest of these are purple. It's very interesting to me, but you know what? Oh well, it's all good. So I really, really, really need to get this basil harvested. It is going to seed. Uh, huh. The smell of basil is so strong, like, anywhere in my driveway, you smell the basil. It's crazy. So I'm coming out here to the nose. So, this is the Cor de Boo, and we have two new tomatoes, and then of course we have the original two. Uh, the Great White is looking amazing, the Hillbilly, amazing, the Pink Oxheart, absolutely wonderful, 
and the black cherry tomato awesome it does make me a little concerned because it is um, towards the end of the season and now my tomatoes are finally starting to look healthy um, but you know what it's okay I am just going to trust and hope that I get some tomatoes. I'm gonna take you back here so y'all can see these. Alrighty, so this is the Cherokee Purple. And those are starting to look really good. And then we have the Get Stuffed. Uh, there's no tomatoes on here yet, but these are finally starting to look really nice. And again, it's just a bit frustrating because we are getting close to the end of the season. And now, now the tomatoes are doing good. I've waited all year for these tomatoes to take off. Show you guys a little pumpkin flower. So this is a male flower, as you can see with the uh, thing in the center. Um, and down here is a pumpkin. Now this is a Jack B. Little. And I don't remember the other Jack B. Littles still having a green pumpkin at this stage. So maybe it was mislabeled and this is a different variety. Or maybe this pumpkin just wants to be a little bit different. I'm not really sure. Um, so we are still having flowers, however, um, nothing for the zucchini yet, and nothing for, oh, what is it? I can't think, guys. But nothing for the zucchini, nothing for the pumpkins. There we go. So, here we have some beans. It's just a matter of days, guys. This is absolutely awesome. Absolutely love this.